You see, I was asking myself, um, it's been a long time. I, I, I was asking myself, I said, what do I need to do to change level in life? What do I need to do to rise higher? You see, there is this desire. And I tell people, desire is not enough. You see, for those of you that are close to me, I tell you, in fact, you desiring, you intending, it is, it is not enough. In fact, somebody told me, said, one million intention is not up to one action. He said, one action, you can't even compare it to a million intention. I want to, I wish to. A lot of us wish to. You wish to be free. You wish to be blessed. You wish to be prosperous. A lot of us desire it. A lot of us wanted it. But guess what? A lot of people are even excited about it. That is why they are here. They are super excited, sir. I really, I, I really, I really want my life to change, sir. I really want to be impacted, sir. I really want to change change my status quo. But the truth is, you cannot change being excited alone. You cannot change your present state desiring alone. That is it. There is one thing there, and I'll be sharing that with you this morning. Guess what? I hope you're ready. I don't know if if you're ready, <laughs> but if you're ready, I want you to go to the chat box and type, we are ready. Go to the chat box and type, we are ready. We are ready. I want you to understand something. You see, in this business, in this profession, of course, this is one of the best way. This is one of the best way to build a residual stream of income whereby a time come you don't even have to labor anymore and the money keeps coming. Let me tell you something. I was speaking with a friend yesterday. We we're having a hangout because I needed to just show him. He has been on my neck. Please, sir, show me, show me what you do, show me what you do. And I was hanging out with him and showing him, and he was like, Man, I'm tired, man. I have tried so many things, man. I'm tired. And I was like, Sir, I want you to understand something. There are three ways of shifting from the active income to the passive or residual income. And for those of you that know here, you're, you're already familiar with the cash flow quadrant. A lot of us right now are either in the employee state or in the self-employed state. That is true. But guess what? Aside that, the best way to shift is either you have an oil well. Oil well whereby you just need to, to connect pipe. Once you connect pipe, you begin to distribute it to people. Guess what? That oil will not finish from that well. The more you keep distributing, the, as long as oil is entering the house, guess what? The more you are making money. You can even go and sleep. The money will keep coming to your account. That is what they call oil money. That is why you see a lot of people today, they are looking for opportunity in oil money, oil money. A graduate finished today is looking for work, oil, oil. Everybody's eye is on oil. Why? Because it is a guarantee way of creating residual or passive income. Number two is real estate. Real estate. You see, a lot of people today are multi-billionaires. Why? Because they are real estate. Guess what? They've invested into real estate. And the truth is, how many of us, imagine today you are blessed with the kind of money you have and you raise a structure, a structure that can accommodate 10,000 people and every year they are paying for staying there. As they are paying you their money, guess what? That structure will not just deplete like that. The more they are staying there, the more they are paying, the more they are staying there, the more they are paying. A time will come that you will even be sleeping and as they are paying, they are staying there, they are paying. The money keeps coming. It keeps coming, it keeps coming. That is residual. You don't even have to work. But the question is, how many of us have that kind of money to attract that kind of what? That kind of residual stream of income. Today, some people, that's why you see likes like Grant Cardon, you see them, the real estate tycoon, they are, they, are, they are already made for life. Ladies and gentlemen, the third one is system. Somebody says system. Go to the chat, say system. And God has blessed us with this system. <laughs> God has blessed us with this system whereby all you needed to do is to understand the power of leverage. You see, if you can see this with your inner eyes, 
You can see it's a reality. The first day I saw this opportunity, all I saw was leverage. All I saw was leverage. Okay, I don't need to put in my time alone. I don't need to put in my energy alone. I don't need to put in my effort alone. Guess what? And it time come that as other people begin to do the same thing, I begin to make the money. Guess what? No wonder I agree with what Paul Getty says. Paul Getty said that it is better, it is better for me to walk using 100 people than working alone. It says, I will rather earn one, 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 one percent from 100 people's effort than 100% of my own personal effort. Listen to me. You cannot do it alone. And that is why as an organization right now, we are regimenting the structure. It is either you fall out or you fall in. Listen to me. It is not for the faint-hearted. Wealth creation is war. A lot of you have inherited generational poverty. A lot of us have inherited generational struggle. A time came in my life, I was asking myself, why was I born in the family I was in? Nobody here chose his father. I was saying it yesterday. Nobody here chose his mother. Nobody here chose this country. Left to me, not be in Niger if I had the opportunity to choose my country. Where do you think? No, let me ask you. Imagine you have an opportunity to choose your country. Which country will you choose? Go to the chat box and type. Let me see. Which country will you have chosen? <laughs> Imagine you have opportunity to choose your country. Which country will you have chosen? No, just, just type it. Let me see. Type it. Let me see your options. Which country will you have chosen? <laughs> you can see Israel is saying Dubai. You can see Japan is saying Dubai. You can see Honorable Silva says Nigeria. Honorable, well done. You have heart. You can see Kenneth says America. That is it. You can see Salim says Qatar, Dubai. That is it. You see, everybody here. Some people are even saying Cameroon. Can you see? In fact, I, in fact, if I touch Canada, can you say Dubai, Dubai? The truth is, every one of us wants a better life. USA, you can see it. It is coming. London, the same thing. I was asking myself, I said, why? If I looked at my father one day and I said, Daddy, why are we like this? Why are we struggling the way we are struggling? It got to a point that if we are eating rice, there is no meat or fish in that rice. If I eat rice once in a month, it was that bad. If I it got to a point that two, 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 and even in the two, it is crayfish that we pound. And then they will use um, one fish and pound it and scatter it in the soup. So those days, if I want to eat two, my, my mother don't like me serving myself soup. Do you know why? Because when I'm serving the soup, I will scoop. You know, when you do the soup, all the obstacles will go down. It will go to the bottom. So when I want to serve, I will just put this spoon, I will put this one, I will scoop on that. <laughs> because I wanted to test what luxury looked like. I was hungry. And I believe. If men and women who are here are hungry for a better life, you are hungry. You are hungry to leave a legacy. You are hungry to make impact. You are hungry to ensure that you leave a mark on the sand of them. Listen to me. It will not come easy. It is, in fact, people say freedom, freedom. Yes, freedom. Everybody desires freedom. But my brother, freedom, they say it is free, Abby. Yes, you want freedom. But listen to me, you must pay for it. You must pay for it. That is it. You must pay for it. It is freedom you desire, but it will not come cheap. It will not come cheap. In fact, for some of us, the way we are living our life, for some of us, the way you are doing your activities, for some of us, the way you are building your team, for some of us, the kind of information you are getting, if you continue like this, you will even live worse. Somebody say, God forbid. If you continue the way you are living your life, if you continue the way you are moving, if you continue like this, January have started. Now, this is 14th October. Very soon, November. Very soon, December. All night again. All night prayer. Deliverance. Cancel it. If I was speaking to somebody, he told me, sir, I think my village poor after me. I said, what do you mean? He says, sir, I don't just understand. I have been trying and trying. I said, right now, what is your way out? He says, sir, in fact, I have registered in deliverance class. Every Friday, we are praying and fasting and casting. I said, brother, for how long have you been doing it? He said, I've been doing it for the past five months, and it will last for the next 10 months. I said, what kind of deliverance are you doing that will last for 10 months? Brother, you need to understand your problem. Some of us, our problem here is because we lack one thing, and that is the reason for this meeting. 
That is it. I said, brother, you just need to accept and admit the fact that there are certain things you are not getting right. That is just the truth. Because the truth is, it came to a point whereby I had to accept and I told myself the truth. Because whether you like it or not, nobody tells you the truth. The only person that can tell you the truth is you. That is the truth. And if God opens your eyes to the point you begin to realize, guess what? That is the beginning of your breakthrough. Because the beginning of your breakthrough starts from you realizing. Once you realize, the repentance sets in. In fact, realization is not enough. Some of you are aware, but you ignore. Do you know a lot of people here, they know that if they continue like this, in the next 10 years, things will be tougher. In the next five years, let me tell you, nothing change with time. Nothing change with time. Okay, let's wait for him a little bit. It's as if network threw him out, so he'll be back very soon. So let's just wait a few minutes. He'll be back very soon. Okay, I don't know. Can you all hear me? We can hear can you. you. All hear we can me? hear you. We can hear okay. you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And so I was talking about the sign that you know the what you produce and the sign that result you don't what you don't produce. Yeah, there is a responsibility on us. There Every one of us, listen to me, you are man, is to produce. You are, you, you are this addition. It's in our DNA. Listen to me. 
100% crazy tribe are not produced. It is not possible. Listen to me. Let nobody make you feel like a to me your your desire your crave just the way you hunger and thirst you hunger when you are hungry the first thing you are looking for is food some of you when you are hungry when you are very hungry anything you see you eat listen to me i remember those days when i'm super hungry do you know what i do in fact if if if, if, I, if, if i'm super hungry anything around me anything around me i devour that is just the truth i remember a day then in school i was so hungry in fact some of you 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 will not want to hear this story but i will tell you i was so hungry i was so hungry to a point that do you know what my gary finish everything finish you know then in school the only thing that always to finish on time is beans you know so so the beans was just there no rice nothing beans just beans you know, and guess what? I, because I, then in school, I don't like eating beans like that. You, you know what? I, I was so hungry, so I just had to carry my last beans. So I carried my last beans. For those of you that know food, you know, we have a central kitchen in Gidan Kwan. I just carried my last beans. In fact, I was so hungry. Hungry! Hey, Chineke! You know that kind of hunger that you are hungry, you don't want to even talk to anybody, they will think you are just fasting or you are just spiritual, but you are hungry. I just carry the beans, carry my hot plate, I took it to the kitchen, and I just put the beans, I put the last ingredient. You know when you know when you are hungry, just pour the ingredient, onion, pepper, everything, just pour everything, Maggie, put everything, let it just done with the beans. My brothers and sisters, I just left the beans and I started sleeping. I slept off oh, the next day. I just woke up. In my dream, I just dreamt like I was eating beans. Um, when I woke up, I just rushed to the kitchen. I just saw burnt of free. <laughs> the whole beans have waited for burnt. Bam. I know, but you know when that kind of thing. Happen, nobody will be around the kitchen to help you. I just, my last <laughs> The last, the last thing I have. Oh my God! The, the way, the, oh my God! Oh my God! I, but I don't want to tell you the feeling. <laughs> but what am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say here is, every one of us, you desire success. Every one of us is in our DNA to succeed. Every one of us here, we want to listen to me. Imagine you are blessed today. Will you remain in the house? Imagine you. You, you, you have the kind of prosperity you wanted. Will you be living in that house? Imagine today that God has blessed you. God has blessed you so much. Mohammed, why are you doing this? Why are you putting your picture here for us to see? Huh? Mohammed, I will block you out of this meeting. It's like, it's, it's like I'm talking, you are, you are doing, and I'll block you out of this meeting. Mohammed from Lafia, and you are close to me. I will block you. Can you imagine? Don't do that again. Guess what? Do you know that I, in fact, I, I was so, I was so hungry. I was so hungry. I desire success so much. Guess what? That is what every one of us here desire. And the truth is the 1% tribe, the 1% generation, we are this remnant of people that is telling ourselves, we are not waiting for our circumstance to change because nothing changes with time. We are willing to do what it takes to change our circumstance. If you are with me, can I see your hands? You are telling yourself, I am not waiting for the next president. I am not waiting for the next governor. I am not waiting for my father or my auntie to become the next minister. I am willing to use what God has blessed me with to change my circumstance and to impact my world. Can I see your hands? Listen to me. Every one of you here, I am here to tell you, you have a deposit of greatness. Listen to me. Nobody was born with success on his head. Every one of us steered up the success within. Every one of us carry it. It is hidden inside, but you must tear it out. You must tear it. You must tear it. And I don't know if you are ready to do what it takes. I don't know. You see, you see a lot of people today, the reason why they're going to Yahoo Yahoo, a lot of people today, the reason why they're going to prostitution. I was listening to a story of some group of girls who joined the Japa bandwagon and they flew to, to Italy. In fact, it was so amazing. These girls, in fact, if you hear their story, you want to cry. In Italy, 
they told them they should come for a job, but do you know that, in fact, they joined the Jackpot bandwagon. They thought that it is greener the other side. After leaving this country, you know, when, you know, things, the way things operate in Nigeria is not the way it operates there. I'm just laying a foundation. I've not even started my topic for today, so pay attention. So those young ladies, those young guys that are thinking that it is, in fact, maybe their destiny is not yet the one to go and try. Let me tell you something. It is your duty, of course. God has given us this world. Everybody has what it takes. In fact, God did not limit you to Nigeria. The way God put you in the world, you have access to Italy, you have access to Canada, you have access to Europe. That is why our business is the best business in the world, because you can connect to over 200 countries. Are you getting me? So you have access to everywhere in the world, because God has gifted you that. But do you know that with the restriction men has created, before, you don't need visa to travel to Canada. I hope you know that. You don't even need visa to go to you. I hope you know that before. You know, and our parents will be our weakness. All you need to do is climb plane. 200 Naira, you are gone. 300 Naira, you are gone to, to where? To London. Free access. But men have placed restriction. Do you know, even as I'm speaking to you, I am in Abuja now. If I go to Kano, there are some places that will not sell land to me. Because they will say, how will a Gwari man come and buy land in Kano? In fact, even now, I am here in Abuja, there are some places I will go to in Enugu, in Imo, and they will not give me land. Because they will say, how will, a, how will a northerner come to east and want to buy land? Are you getting me? But I am a Nigerian. But I want you to understand that in spite of this restriction, God's plan is for everybody here to dominate. God's plan is for everybody here to subdue. God's plan is for everybody here to take charge. You were born to take charge. You were not born to be charged upon. Are you getting me? You were born to dominate. You were not born to be dominated. Listen to me. Everybody here is born for an impact. And I want you, even when you sleep, even when you work for the rest of the year, every day of your life, every Every day you wake up, tell yourself, I am born to take charge. I am born to make impact. I will not die until I give my quota. Listen to me. In this business, every one of us have one life to live. We will not live this life doing beggarly, beggarly. Time I was telling my boss, I, I remember I used to have a boss there. Why are you still driving this car? He said, no, it is better I drive in limousine. Those that are driving private jet, flying private jet. No, it is for you and me. And the reason I teared up this morning is so that every one of us will greatness. I don't care if you are living in one room apartment. I don't care if you are behind your bills. I know some of you right now no salary for the past. I know some professors are here, no salary for the past eight months. I was speaking to a professor. He said, I said, sir, how have you been surviving? He said, my brother, eight months is not easy. I said, but sir, do you believe? He said, I believe. Every one of you, you are not created to rely on your salary alone. Listen to me. There is something bigger than salary inside of you. Every one of you, listen to me. I know as I'm speaking, it's irritating some of you. Please, if it's irritating you, this meeting is not for you. Just log out and go and do your business. Log out and go and be selling your masala. Log out and go and be selling your many things outside. But if you are here and you are angry, you are telling yourself, no, why am I still the way I'm living? Why am I still like this? If I got to a point, I asked my father, I told you, I said, Daddy, why are we like this? I got angry. Every day I wake up, I look at the same environment, all I hear around me, it is either somebody is quarreling, or somebody is borrowing, or somebody is fighting. I didn't like my environment, I didn't like my house, and the kind of house we were living, every morning we used to go and fetch water from the borehole and bring home. I said, is this how I will continue to suffer a graduate? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Listen to me. I want somebody here to get angry at his current position irrespective of who you are, because there is a demand placed on us for more, and we are pressing in this season. And that is why you see the organization is regimenting her structure. The only way you can rest is for us to build an organization. Right now, all we have all this time is a group. 
And when you have a group, there's a difference between having a group and a team. Listen to me. There's a difference between a group and a team. A group of people are people that just come together. There is no goal. There is no focus. I, they, are, they are just a group. They just do everything. Oh, are, are you from the same place? Oh, we are from the same place. They just meet. They, 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 they just a group. Group of people. But a team of people are people. Have you seen footballers before? Have you seen footballers? Listen to me. If you if you if you see Messi playing, Messi is not holding the ball and saying no. I am the only best. I am the only best. No, Messi when he gets opportunity, he passes it to the next player. When the next player gets opportunity, he passes it to the next player. They are all gold. There are twelve of them, but twelve of them cannot kick the ball at the same time. So the pass the ball, they pass the ball. They are a team of people. Their focus is to impact. Their focus is to get the goal. And we are here as the 1% crazy team. Our focus is not whether I am better than you. Our focus is not whether Gaza is better than me. It's not whether Jafar is better than me. It's not whether Salim is better than me. It's not whether Comfort is better than me. It's not whether Richard is better than you. You are not comparing here. You are not contrasting here. Our our focus is to work together as a team. If you are with me, go to the chat box and say, I am in, I am in, I am in. Listen to me. I want you to make up your mind because from next week, if you miss any cell meeting from next week, it's like you are destroying your empire. What we are taking here is antibiotic. Any day you miss, you have missed that thing. It's like you are destroying your empire. Yes, precious is saying she's in. I can see it. Keep it coming. I'm in. Yes, Abdul Rashid, I'm in. I'm in. Because together as a team, we are unbreakable. Nobody should be around you and is talking against the vision. Nobody is around you and is encouraging you to rebel. Nobody is, uh, is around you. I don't care who they are. And they are even making you to see reasons why they are saying hey you you are everything about, about you you are too serious tell them i am seriously serious about my future i am seriously serious to ensure that my dreams come true i am seriously serious to ensure i live impact in this life and let me tell you you one percent crazy try and listen to me, I want to congratulate every one of you here because you are in the right place, you are at the right time, and I guarantee you, there is no way you remain here consistently for the next one year, two years, three years, four years, and you will not make a mark. It's not possible. Because what makes people realize is the wealth. What makes people realize is the information. What makes people realize is knowledge. And once that knowledge comes in, you begin to apply. And the the more you apply, the more the result. As I'm speaking to somebody here, that thing that is limiting you, that thing that is making you play small, that thing that has kept you bound, that thing that has made you lazy, that thing that has made you a mediocre, that thing that has limited you, is leaving you now. Your head is opening, your eyes is opening, and you are getting strength to move. You are getting strength to soar. Listen to me. There is burden upon us, and we cannot afford to fail. If your great-grandfather failed, if your grandfather failed, if your father failed, must you fail? That is the question. Must you fail? Must you fail? Your great-great-grandmother failed. Oh, dear. Your great-grandmother failed. Oh, dear. Your grandmother failed. No apology. Your mother failed. Now you are becoming a mother. Must you fail? Someone said, God forbid. God forbid. And that is why from next week, by the mercy of God, on Monday, our G leader will be coming on board. On Tuesday, we'll be breaking out to ourselves. Remember, I've not even started the main cell meeting. I will just dish out the topic and we'll continue next Friday. I want you to get ready. I am hungry to change my world. I am hungry to make my life a better place. Before you can change the world, you have to make your life a better place. You have to, you, you have to, you have to reorient yourself. You have to repackage yourself. You have to organize yourself you know when 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 you see soldiers when you see soldiers going for peacekeeping there's a way they armor themselves when you see policemen on the roadside there's the way they dress but when you see soldiers going for peacekeeping going going to settle this food there's a way they dress their asthma is equipped. You see the machineries they are going with. That is because they are ready for war. 
In case, in case someone does not want peace, they take him off. Are you getting me? And that is what I want you to begin to see. Begin to see yourself every day you wake up. 5.30, you are doing your prayer. 6 o'clock, you are, you are doing some exercise. 7, you are off the road. You are hitting it. You are hitting it. Then you are off the road. It, it, it will be haram. It will be haram. That some of you here, you cannot pay your house bill and you are sleeping for 10 hours. It will be haram. You, I, I pray you have sleepless night. I pray you have sleepless night. Listen to me. Until you achieve your dream, I pray, oh God, that's my prayer, that none of you here sleep well every night. Yes, you must achieve your dreams. If you are with me, go to the door and say, I'm with you. I pray you have sleepless night until you achieve your dream. How will you be sleeping on mat? How will you be? How will you be behind your bills? Your car is in the mechanic and you are sleeping and snoring. Is it not juju? Is it not juju? In your mind, all is well, but all is not well. You you must react. You must react. You must say, no, enough is enough. Enough is enough. No one sign up, no two sign up. You are just the only one. Nobody, nobody, you are not helping anybody, you are not impacting the world, and you are sleeping well. I pray today, anybody here with, from today, sleepless nights until you produce. Until you produce, please, somebody should say amen, 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 amen. Go to the table and say, I will not sleep well until I produce. Listen to me. Whenever I am sleeping by 2 o'clock and I'm enjoying the sleep, I pray that something knock you off that sleep. Until you produce. Thank you very much, honorable. Amen. I love that. Amen. Thank you very much. Just say amen, amen. That is it. Until you produce. Listen to me. Those that are doing it don't have two heads. That is it. I want you to get angry. Until you get angry, nothing changes. Nothing changes, my people. Nothing changes. I remember that time, South Africa, they were, you know, at that point, um, the queen, which is late now, she was the one, for some of you, you don't even know this information, she, she was the one in charge, you know, you know, you know, then, in fact, she was the one controlling the whole, you know, the whole Africa and all that, you know. It was under her power. It was under her domain. Until when South Africa got tired, that's when we now had this appetite. Until appetite set in. And some blacks said enough is enough. They are tired of this racism and, 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 and preferential treatment. No, that they want their own independence. Until when apartheid set in, they got angry with how the, the whole thing was happening. And they revolted. They said, no, 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 please. I, we are tired being under bondage. Please, if you are poor, you are under bondage. If you are struggling, your children say, Daddy, I need bicycle. And you look at your account. You cannot pay for bicycle. You are under bondage. Anything you want, you can afford. You are under bondage. You are under bondage. A lot of you don't even know. Oh, you are thinking, you are thinking that your salary, if you are under salary, if it is all you depend on, you are under bondage. Listen to me. In your team, you are not even yet an active cell leader. In your team, you no sign up. You, you, you are not even an imagine leader. No productivity. No, you, you, you book, you say no, you, you are under bondage. And this morning, that bondage must break. It must break. <laughs> it must be because the first way of breaking such bondage is to realize then when you realize you say no 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 no, i'm ready to do what it takes next because i'm about to show you what it takes to break out of bondage i'm ready to show you what it takes to break out of limitation listen to me every one of you here you are born for greatness you are born for greatness. And until you realize it, may you continue to have sleepless nights, sleepless night, restless night, restless night, restless, become restless. Father, I pray on restlessness upon us, the God of heaven, the God of everybody here. We pray for restlessness until your dreams, until all you want us to become come to pass. That is it. Do you know how many people are waiting for you to make it? Do you know how many people are praying, oh God, bless Mohammed Mubarak. The day you bless Mohammed Mubarak, we are free. And you want to fail them. My prayer is nobody here will fall apart. My prayer here is nobody will take your place. In this meeting, nobody here will take your place. In the next four years, in the next three years, in the next five years, ten years, when by that time we have, we have, we have, we have, we have become global, some of us are launching our private jets, some of us were traveling, some of us will maybe into the moon, you will not be found missing. 
My prayer for you is you will not be found missing. You will be in the game. You will be in the flow. You will be updated. You will be with us. Because I want to share with you right now one of the keys it takes to break out of limitation. Please stay with me. Stay with me. One of the keys it takes, one of the keys I'll, I'll, I'll be sharing with you, what it takes, what it takes right now to break out of limitation. What it takes right now to break out of limitation. Listen to me. Some of you already have treated this topic with you. They'll be treating it again in your offices. Please. With your leaders. Your leaders will be treating this topic. Number one is be obsessed. Somebody say be obsessed. Obsessed, be obsessed. I'm wrapping up already. I'm aware that that I'm aware. Be obsessed now. Be obsessed. Be obsessed. Tell yourself from today. I. If you are born to raise millionaires, I'm not talking about you because you must have become a millionaire to raise millionaires. Tell yourself, I. No, I am tired of this five hundred. Your dream is, oh, God, bless me, 500. In fact, I was talking to one of my leaders someday, and I said, what is your dream right now? What do you want to make in this nation? She said, hey, hey, my mentor, uh, 100,000. I said, ah, ah. She said, okay. She said, okay. She said, okay, 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 my mentor, let, so that you will not say I'm not dreaming much. 500,000. I said, so if I give you 500,000, what will happen to you? Do you know what she told me? She said, hey, my mentor, if you give me 500,000, I will just die. <laughs> Do you know that this lady, I discovered that she has identity crisis. In fact, she's limiting God in her. That is it. I want every one of you to be obsessed about it. Being a multi-millionaire is nothing. Is nothing. God can give you that in a million folds. Be obsessed. What is obsession? As I wrap up, obsession, listen to me, obsession is an idea or thoughts that continually preoccupies or intrudes a person's mind. It's an idea or a thought that continually preoccupies or intrudes a person's mind. It, it, you see, some of you were once upset with a girl. My lover boy's club. My lover boy's club. You used to like a girl, you were obsessed. Each time you see her, man, you can't do anything again. Yes, I used to be obsessed with one girl like that. Yes, yeah, some of you, some of you say me. Yes, me. I used to be obsessed with her. I remember each time I see her like this, I'll not be thinking well again. You know, you know, if, 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 I, if I see her do like this, I'll be smiling. If I see her, I just became mumu. <laughs> That's how obsession is. I just wanted to see her smile. In fact, anything, if she wants something, I'll rush and go and do it. If she say, come here, I will, I will rush and go and do it. And it was clear I was upset. Me, my, I didn't know. I was living my life well. Some of you remember when you used to be obsessed. You'd be talking on phone from, from 4 a.m. No, no, no. From 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. You know that time, night call, night call. Some of you, you just be in one lungu. One day, I saw one Keken pair driver, the guy in hot afternoon, hot afternoon, the guy just packed his keke, carried his phone, stayed outside under the hot sun. He didn't sit inside. And the guy just folded his leg. I was laughing like this. I said, this guy, this guy is a lesson that one girl has, this guy is obsessed with one thing there. I don't know whether it's a man or a woman, but it's clear that this guy is obsessed with somebody on the phone. Are you getting me? But I want you to understand just the way you are. Obsession takes you off. Listen, when you are obsessed, what exactly is obsessed? Now, you can't serve two masters at the same time. You can't be obsessed with two things. I said, Umba, you must do one and do less of the other. That is the truth. Which one do you choose? Which one do you choose? Do you choose to build a financial free life? Or do you choose to remain limited? Do you choose to remain limited? Do you choose to keep serving? Leader is looking for some of you here. Yeah, you are busy saying the reason why I'm not doing it is because of my leader. Listen to me. Don't allow any leader limit you. You are that leader the world is waiting for. You are that mentor the world is looking for. You are that presenter. You are that advisor. You are that counselor. You are that mega person that the world is looking for. As I end, listen to me. You must eat. You must drink. You must shit. You must sleep your goal.
good. You have to give it 120%. You must go all in. It is either you go in or you fizzle out. It is either you go in 100% in. And I believe I'm talking to the right set of people that are telling me, sir, I am ready to go in. I will not make my religion an excuse. I will not make church an excuse. I will not make my spouse an excuse. I will not make my children an excuse. I will not make my health an excuse. I am ready to go in. I am ready ready. I am ready to give it all. An obsessed person has no business with distraction. You can't be distracted if you are obsessed. You can't. You can't. You, you, you can't be struggling to log in, in for cell meeting if you're obsessed. You can't be struggling to follow up when you're obsessed. You cannot be struggling to follow up on your team. You cannot be struggling to arrange sections like this. Hot, hot. Leaders, listen to me. I will be logging into every breakout next week. I want every leader. From next week, you will receive the spirit of restlessness. Listen to me. If others here are receiving one dose, you will receive times 10. What it means that some of you, you'll be coming here in a, in a double unction. Listen to me. When you finish, I want you people to begin to raise gladiators. I want, you, I want the kind of people you begin to raise in your team are people that are telling you that it is either I succeed or I succeed. I remember when I saw this business, I told myself, I said, God, this day, I thank you for showing me the opportunity to make my life and my generation count. From today, I receive grace to pull through. Listen to me. The grace is upon everybody. And I tell you, it will come to pass. That dream will come to pass. You will build your dream houses. All these trips were going for eight times in a year. We are that this business. I was telling myself, oh God, Like in fact, when I was telling my father that I've been given opportunity to travel, my father did not. Are you going to? Is he Bauchi? Is he Yankari game? Is he out of the country because he never believed that any. In our time, we are changing the course of things. We are remodeling it. In our time, I'm becoming the women who will become better versions of themselves. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm ready to put in my sweat. I'm ready to put in everything, my blood, my money, my sacrifice. Listen to me. A sign that you are obsessed is sacrifice. You cannot say you are obsessed and you are struggling with Netflix. You are still struggling watching film. Some of you, after this meeting now, you on your TV and watched it from day to... Some of you, you are still in your father's house. So, in fact, as a strike has made you stay in your father's house, for those in Nigeria, you will now, after this meeting now, even after this fire, I... Pray that after this meeting, you want to go and watch him. That film will not work. Listen to me. You see, it is either why see it is better you just quit. Let me tell you, you cannot be in this one percent crazy dream and not produce. It's not possible. You must produce. You are mandated to produce. In the night, you dream production. When you eat, you eat production. You must produce. Distraction is the proof you are not obsessed. And so from today, I want you to make up your mind to begin to kill your distraction. Kill them, kill them, divorce them, betray them, betray them. Whatever kind of betray. Some of you, what is making you not to be obsessed is your girlfriend, is your boyfriend. One boy somewhere is telling you that eh, as an African woman, it is not good for you to be obsessed. Tell that man, I, 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 I in fact, my, my God told me that somebody will come my way that will help me not to achieve my dream. It is you. And I have seen you today. Please, sir, I know do again. Break up and divorce that man. Divorce and go. How would you, how would somebody say he loves you and, and, and he does not want to support you achieve your vision? It's not possible. It's not possible. Any man or woman, and listen for me, for, for you guys, my young leaders, I know some of you, you are in your prime. Some of you right now, you have one girlfriend. You have, some of you are not telling me, I know. I know you don't. <laughs> You're not, I know. You get And, and and one boyfriend is in fact since you met that boyfriend, 
Now, some of you, you are using that one and you are the, the, that boyfriend that gave, and your business is going low, it's going low, it's going low. Can't you see the sign? Can't you? Anybody that will not help you, that will not join you, make the world a better place. Break out, break up. I don't know how you will do it, Ella. I, I, am I still connected? Co-host, am I still? Connect. Yes, yes, yes. We can hear you. Don't know this calling me. Please stop calling. Okay, please. Am I still connected? Yes. Yes. Okay, beautiful. I'm trying to say this loud and clear. Somebody that will like you the way you are. There is somebody that will. Come and join you, achieve your dreams. There is somebody that will come and partner with you, not somebody that will be doing body coming, any family member, anybody that will help with your enemy. You attack your enemy. No, 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 no. It's a clear sign that you are not with me. No, no, it, it is clear. It is clear. You break out. And ladies and gentlemen, value for your time. I am about to wrap up, wrap up and I'll be calling on my two unstoppable leaders. They will be dropping 60 seconds of Is the network stable? Co host. It's stable now. Stable now. Can hear you now. It's stable now. Thank you very much. Yes. So, right. Now, any, I, I was talking about anti your vision. Anything that is anti your goal is an enemy. And you know what you do to your enemy? You divorce your enemy. You break out from your enemy. Listen to me. You break out. You break out with your enemy. You, 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 you break off. Break off. Right now, by the grace of God, I'll be inviting my top leaders. I have two of them live. Of course, all of you are my top leaders. But I'll be inviting my, my, my EAP leaders. <laughs> my fellow EAPs. Please, um, co-hosts, please help. So the network is bad. I can't can hear you. What did you say? Okay, help me confirm. Is it stable now? Okay, it is now. It is. Is it very stable now? Yes, we can hear you now. Is it very stable now? Please confirm. Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. Okay, okay. And so every one of you here, I believe you are ready. In fact, I will be calling on my on my on my leaders. They will be dropping a sixty seconds value. Sixty. I want them just to emphasize because I know it's possible there are some things that they emphasize on. I just want them to emphasize in sixty seconds. In sixty seconds, just some things. Just some things they caught. You know, in this in this. Of course, there are things you you of course you you catch, and there are things that of course you need to be what you need to learn. Okay, some of you you learned some things. Why some of you you
takes her. I am ready to do what it takes. I'm ready to handle meeting with the general shore. Right now, we are activating, project activate. By the time they finish talking, I will bring out, I will bring out um, what we need to, the, the next activity we, need, we needed to do so that we can all align. Are you getting me? So ensure you don't leave until you see till the end. Are you getting me? So I'll be calling on my top leaders right now. 60 seconds of value. 60 seconds, just 60 seconds. I'll be starting with, of course, I can see um, Comfort. I can see Engineer Richard. Um, let me start with um, Comfort. Comfort, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, mentor. Good morning. Okay, okay, okay. Come up. So please just go up, just go and dish out, dish out in 60 seconds what you caught from this meeting. Dish out in 60 seconds. Now, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Now, what I learned from this meeting is the obsession. It is time for us to align with the vision. The vision is made clear, the mission is there for us to achieve it. And it is to your own good to align to it now one thing we should know about in this business is when you they're saying do 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 don't sit and said i won't do it is time to fall in and do all it takes now you have made you are created for success you are created for to win in fact the name of our team is winning team and it will be a, something that you are not winning at all and you are in the team that means you are not part of the team so you need to fall in line and do all it takes to be among those that are winning. And you are going to win and succeed in this business. Just do all it takes. Be obsessed about your business. Some of us are not really obsessed about this business. It is high time for us to be obsessed about the business and do the right things and yeah. get the right results. Thank you, mentor. Thank you, everyone. And I appreciate each and every one of us Thank this you. morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Unstoppable comfort all the way from the city of Zaria. And the next on the line is um, Engineer Richard. Engineer Richard, are you there with us? If you're there with us, 60 seconds of value. 60 seconds of Just shake the table in 60 seconds. Okay. Good morning, boss. Good morning, yes. everybody. Um, yes, um, <clears throat> boss has said it already. He said some things are caught, some things are taught. And yesterday I was saying some things I what was it yesterday or two days ago. I said some things are imparted. Okay. So so the, the, the best result you can get in this business is um impartation. I call it impartation. Because if you check the lifestyle of Scott and his disciple, um, when the Holy Spirit came on them, he didn't teach them. The Holy Spirit, okay. Sorry, please for, for, for my Muslim brothers, permit me, I'm just going to a little bit go into the Bible. Um, how I understand the Quran very well, I've gone to the Quran on the impartation. Now, when Jesus had, um, when the Holy Spirit came down, Jesus didn't teach them about the Holy Spirit. He didn't, mm. uh, he didn't do all that. What he did was, they, 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 he impacted the Holy Spirit on them through what they mm. communion, they had communion, and that was impartation. Okay, so the shortest way you can learn in this business, we say some things are caught, some things are taught, but the best way you can learn is impartation. So of course, don't understand that aspect of the impartation. The impartation means you just open your head and put it inside. <laughs> okay, so, so the best way you can learn and the best way you can grow is getting close to your yeah. mentor. Just pick a mentor so the mentor impacts it. Okay, I used to be a victim of this part and I've learned from it that the easiest way I can move from where I am to where I want to be, let me just get impacted by it. It makes the journey very easy for you. So if you really want to succeed in this business, first thing you need to do, you get a mentor, okay? And secondly, Paul said something. He said um, something about moving from, um, from, from, from a group to a team, okay? Now, we don't understand what that one means very well. Moving from a group to a team means uh, relationship capital, okay? Relationship capital. If you want to move from a if we need to move yeah. from a group to a team, we need to build up called relationship capital. Now, let's differentiate these two words. There's relationship and there's capital. Now, most people that fail in this business, they don't know how to build relationship capital. Because in this business, there is profit in relationship. So if you don't build that relationship between you and a new team member, a new downliner, and someone that just signs the business, you can't get the profit. So it just works from what? Relationship capital. So let's just leave it at this level for now, boss. Mm -hmm. Boss, I am so grateful. And he said one minute. And yeah. he said one minute. So thank you, boss. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Engineer Richie. Really appreciate every one of you here. Now, quickly, what is it for you? Now, we will not end this cell meeting without an activity. Now, what you need to understand is already 
we are doing activate project activate project from from now to the end of 2022 project activate from next year i believe every one of you must have hit the ranks that's it so right now we are starting with project activate project activate now um i want you to forget about the months okay we are starting right now with two activate two activate two every one of us here for you to switch from being an eap to an ap eap are low fast as long as you are here, you are a lofa. Even me. Everybody right now, the system is fresh. Everybody now is a lofa. Project activate. In fact, what you needed right now is activate two. Activate just two. Now, for as soon as you activate these two, reach out to your EAP leader. Tell your leader, please, please, I just activated two today. So that he will send you the letter to apply to becoming an AP business has changed right now we are building an organization listen to me for we to be able to achieve our dream our goal of fifty thousand monthly multi-millionaires every day an organization of millionaires and people living their dreams we must create an organized structure listen to me it is so rigid to a point that it is either you fall in or you fall out Ah, after the training with the mastermind, somebody called me and said, ah, oh, God, oh, God, this thing too hard, oh. I said, no, it is not for everyone. You just remain in that group. We'll be, we'll be putting bad day. We'll be putting barbecue pool party. Just be enjoying your life. Then after 50, you know, some people like learning by experience. All of us are hungry to activate. Activity this weekend, next week, is activate. Active grading. If you are upgrading, it will not count. Count. You must help at least. Your duty is to help two people. You cannot activate until you help. So your mission this weekend and next week and next week is to go on a rampage of activate, activate. And guess what? As you are doing that, by the mercy of God, you'll be activating with the right set of people. You'll be activating with the right set of individuals that are ready to make their lives and the world a better place. If you are with me, say, I'm with you. If you are with me, just go to the chat and say, I'm with you. I'm looking for the 1% crazy tribe that is ready. He or she is ready to activate this week. If you are with me, go to the chat box and say, I am ready to activate. I am ready to activate. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be ending this meeting shortly with this project activate. With this project activate. And guess what? As you go out this weekend, I want your activities to be packed full. For those of you that have not visited your office, I believe all the leaders have meetings packed, packed back to back for everybody. All the leaders who have meetings already, we have trainings already. All they have received from Abuja, all we received from Kenya was dished out to the e-leaders. And some of them even received double dose here again in Abuja. And they are ready to impact you people. And guess what? As you go, as they call for meeting, ensure you are part of that meeting. Do not give excuses. As they call for meeting, ensure you are part of that meeting. And so we are bringing this meeting to a close right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I leave God's blessing with you. I leave God's blessing, God's guide. I leave God's lead. I leave God's grace. I leave God's strength. You need strength in this business. You need capacity. May God increase your capacity. May God increase your strength. May, may your business expand beyond the shores of Africa not only in Nigeria, but beyond the shores of Africa. As a leader and as a father of our people, I bless you people, you will not labor for sorrow. Every little activity you do will yield results. Go and dominate. Go and suck it. It is your time. It is your season. For every one of you here listening to me, so shall it be. God bless you and see you all on Monday. And for those of you that have questions, my lines are open to answer everybody. So feel free to chat me. I'm online. You have any challenge as a leader, I am here for you. I'm here to serve you. And Potako, prepare for us.
He must have prepared for us the city at the time we are done cooking it, it will be delivered to people. So So thank you very much. God bless you all. Nushi. Goodbye for now. Thank you.